Hello all. In today's video, we are going to focus on more details of mediation system. As I have already explained this mediation system into, into the telecom billing project flow, but some of my subscriber has requested me to uh, explain detail on uh, for mediation system. So I, now I am trying to explain you in detail uh, what is actually the mediation system and what is the need of mediation system. As actually what happens in uh, any telecom operator or any telecom company they never provide you a flat rate means they never provide you a same rate for all the calls means if you want to make an international call if you want want to make a local call if you want to make a std call if you want to send a message they will never charge you a same rate for each and every event or each and every call right so because of that this mediation system comes into the picture or its role is very important why because each and every service or each and every call is having a different rate right so to track that particular call record so this mediation system is very useful so the main basic thing you have to remember is that the need of mediation system is because of telecom industry or telecom companies never charge the any flat rate for the all the services right so here need to track the calls and collect the call detail call detail record that is cdr some people might uh, known it by a udr that is usage record right then the convert this particular call detail record which is collected from the different network element this mediation system need to convert into a compatible format which is required by the billing system this is the basic idea of mediation system now we'll look it into with the with the help of this particular flow okay with the help of mediation system telecom company collects the cdr from various network element okay so this network element means what this is msc smsc ggsn mmsc these are the network elements right where mmsc is responsible for what for voice related data whatever will be a voice calls you have made this all data detail records are captured by msc then SMSC will capture all SMS you have sent. This GGSN capture the whole data record, data usage or the internet related calls or internet related services you have used is captured by the GGSN and MMSC captured all the MMS related record. Okay, so this network elements, this different network elements are responsible to collect the detail record for different services right so as these are the different network elements they don't generate the cdr into a same format they might generate the particular cdrs into dot ans format dot dat format or dot tap format okay there might be a different different formats right so these all formats or all cdrs are taken as an input by this particular mediation system. So what is the main task of mediation system? Mediation system process the CDR. Process the CDR means what? As they received the CDR files in very different format like ASN format, .dat format or .tap format or any other format which is given by this network element. Now as mediation system need to provide this all the cdrs to a billing system means for example billing system want particular uh, for example they want all the files in dot dat format then mediation system need to convert the ans format files into dot dat format and then provide to a billing system right so the main task of mediation system is to process a cdr right process cdrs means whatever the data collected in cdr is in raw format they need to convert into a format compatible with the billing system right this is the main or basic task of mediation system now here only i am i will tell you what are the different features of mediation system mediation system supports the main feature of mediation system it supports the very complex types of data types like ans dot dat tap 3 this kind of complex data format they will support and the main feature of mediation system is does the filtering and aggregation means for example i want to generate a bill of a calls having a duration more than 10 minutes which are the local calls so this mediation system will filter out local calls in that the duration is having 
more than 10 minutes so this kind of filtering or aggregation is done in the mediation system okay then it is also useful for correlation then for providing a error messaging and record processing and also useful for duplicate record detection it might happen na, as because uh, keep in mind this particular telecom billing is generally means is related with the postpaid billing okay so in postpaid subscriber there is no need to check the balance okay if you have subscribed for for a postpaid plan then you need not to check a balance every time you just take your phone and make the calls right so what happened this telecom companies will generate the call detail record for the same are you getting in postpaid subscriber there is no need to check the balance these calls are allowed to process further without any checking the balance or without any checking the message and this particular call detail records are captured by these network elements right and then this call detail records are further processed by mediation system to generate a bills right so in short the mediation system collects the cdr or udr from network elements and convert into a compatible format which is required by the billing system so what actually this cdr is having the cdr the name itself suggests the call detail record right so this call detail record include the who is calling to whom you are calling means call calling party number called party number then call call duration its date and time this kind of details are there in cdr right so here the mediation system once they convert the raw cdr means whatever will be the format they are getting into a compatible format related with the billing system then they once they convert the particular format in means rich format or what uh, as per the requirement of billing system they will transfer it the particular cdr to billing system by using ftp that is file transfer protocol why because generally this mediation system runs on a different machine and this billing system may runs on a different remote machine so this ftp is useful while sending this particular cdr file from mediation system to billing system this is all about the mediation system i request you all please like share and comment to our channel please subscribe to our channel and please do comment on which point you want a next video thank you all please do check the other video i have placed on this particular youtube channel i have also given the links of all the videos in description box as well as in comment do check it and please subscribe to our channel